how to edit a checkout page on Wix. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can edit your own checkout page on Wix. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we want to do is we want to sign up onto Wix. Now, signing up process is very simple and it's free. So you can go ahead and do that. There is a pricing plan, which we will get to at the end of the video. Now, next, what you want to do is when you arrive over here, you want to go ahead and create a new site. And over here, you can create a new site by clicking on create new site button. And it's going to open up the Wix site creations page. And over here, you can go ahead and start creating your own site, either from a blank canvas or from a template. We're going to select template. And over here, you can see all the templates that are available. These are all the Wix Studio responsive templates. Just keep in mind, uh, if we go back to the page, you will see there's an option right here called build with the Wix editor. So you can go ahead and do that as well. So if you click over here, right, you don't want to go ahead and select the studio templates. It's going to open up this page. And over here, we can set up without chats. And over here, just search for any template or any type of website you want. So let's say it's an e commerce template. So we'll just search for e-commerce store or e-commerce clothing store whatever you want just simply click on that topic and just click on continue it's going to go ahead and prepare your dashboard give it a couple of seconds and once you do that uh, your dashboard will be ready and you can go ahead and start setting up your site so this is going to be your store name and over here we'll enter in the store name it can be anything you want so we'll just say urban wares and we'll click on continue and it's going to ask you quick survey do you already have an online store no i'm just starting out click on continue if you want to skip you can also skip as well then i will select physical goods click on continue online sales click on continue and continue to dashboard there we go dashboard is set up now we can go ahead and create a site and then we can go ahead and edit the checkout page and also you have to set up a payment method as well so whenever someone you know purchases your products your goods so you have an account set up so their money can come over here into your account so make sure to do that so now that that's done let's go ahead and start editing our website so over here is the design website page so we're going to click on design page or design site and we're going to generate a design using ai or you can go ahead and click on pick a template i'm going to select a template because ai is not ready yet and then you can go ahead and select any of these websites you want so these are all uh, e-commerce type website where people are selling clothes hats or you know bags whatever you want so go ahead and select any of these websites and you should be good to go so let's say we want to select this one we want to sell caps let's go ahead and view this template so this is how this template looks like. It looks pretty cool. Looks really good. Uh, we have our products right here. Shop all hashtag Instagram. So we can go ahead and see. We can go ahead and edit this website. But I want to go ahead and select another one just in case. Okay, this theme looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and go with this one. Uh, we're going to click on edit this site. It's going to load up the template in the editor right here. And over here, you can go ahead and generate some text for your website, but it depends on you. If not, you can just simply click on the cross button and you are good to go. So this is going to be your shop. On the left-hand side, you have some options such as add elements, add section, pages, menu, and all of that. We're going to click on pages, right? And here it's going to open up. And here you have a bunch of different options. Here you have new, women's, shop, uh, about section, FAQ, and all of that. And on the left-hand side, you have sign up, login, members, store, and all of that, right? So let's say if you want, you can go ahead and click on any of these pages and you will be, and those pages will open up. And this is the shop page right here. Let's go ahead and go into the checkout page and see what that one looks like. So let me just click on the preview section right here. And then we have this uh, checkout page, the cart we can see right here. If you want, you, this particular website does not have a checkout page because the cart is right here. and you can go ahead and buy it right here but if you want to have a checkout page let's go ahead and add it to add a checkout page let's go back to the editor and go into pages in the pages uh, you can see you have product page and all of that here you have light boxes member area sign in login let's go ahead and click on the site menu here are the site menus here are all the store pages and here is the cart page right here i thought it was missing but it's not i was mistaken so here is the cart page if we click on it it's going to open up the cart page right here and as you can see this is how it looks like very simple nothing too crazy uh if you want you can go ahead and click on add section and over here you can go ahead and add an entire section you can click on the page to add a shop page so let's go ahead and add that we're going to click on add a shop page it's going to load up right here 
And if you want to add pages, you can just simply go ahead and do that. If you want, you can add menu items from here. Since we already have a cart page right here, uh, we can go ahead and click over here to get started. So we're going to click on cart page right here, open it up. If you want, you can click on this cob wheel to open up the layout permissions and all of that. So we have the standard layout right here, or if you want, we can have the no header, no footer type of layout. If you click over here, this is how it's going to look like. You can see there's nothing really over here. So we're going to continue with the standard one. So if people want to go ahead and move on, they can go ahead and move on. So right here, you can go ahead and click on manage payment section right here. You click on it. It's going to save the website and open up the dashboard section right here or the dashboard tab here you can go ahead and manage your payments as i said before in the previous in the beginning of the video and here you can go ahead and set up your payment method and manage all of your payments clicking on confirm will confirm that your business is located within this location within vietnam yemen zambia whatever country you want and then over here you can go ahead and connect your card so over here accept credit card debit card with wix so you can go ahead and connect it so over here allows accept credit card debit card apple pay google pay offer and others so you can go ahead and click on connect and go ahead and do you sell prohibited products no i do not and click on accept and continue to go ahead and manage all of your payments so now you can go ahead and select which payment methods you want your customers to pay so you have apple pay google pay tap to pay wix point of sale if you have a point of sale if you have a physical shop then you can go ahead and do that but if it's just online then don't go ahead and select any of these but anyway once that's done just simply click on continue and now you will be connected to a provider and of course for this to work you need to upgrade your site but yeah once that's done you are good to go so let's go ahead and now edit it so over here if we click on quick edit we can go ahead and quickly edit our website so we have all of our site edits right here background colors right here column paragraphs column stripe all of those are going to be over here if you want to add like a quick section for example let's say if we wanted to add an element we click on the plus button and over here you can add an element so right here you have a bunch of different options let's say you wanted to add a specific payment method or like a payment button you click on the payment and right here you have all these different options right here you can add like a payment plan a donation a paypal buttons pay button a login bar you've got currency converter add to card button Cart icon product widget is going to be over here. I think this looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and do that. Uh, bestseller as well. So we can add like a bestseller section right here into the card section. So people can go ahead and, you know, check those out and possibly, you know, go ahead and buy some of them. So right here, bestseller is right here. But if you want, you can also add uh, like a related product right here. So let's go ahead and select this one and add this section. So it's going to be added right here in a second. There we go. So it's added right here. Let's go ahead and move it down below. So if we just go ahead and select this section and click on, we'll move it down for some reason. It should go down, but it's not moving. Maybe if I just, there we go. So right here, we'll paste it underneath this section, but it's attached. So we need to go ahead and make sure we add another section. So let me just go back click on the add element button actually click on the add section button right here and right here we go ahead and add store and here we have the bestseller option right here or the product gallery or whatever you want so here we can go ahead and add the bestseller right here underneath the cart option yep, that looks much better so now whenever someone goes ahead and buys something they have the bestseller option and they can go ahead and buy the additional option as well so very simple this is how you do it this is how you uh, edit your checkout page and how you can customize your checkout page as well so very simple thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye